Hi everyone, apologies it's been so long since my last video. Um, no real reason, I just didn't have much to say so I took a break, but I'm back. Uh, let's jump right into it. As you can see from my past videos, my hair's quite a bit longer, now at a length that I call Struggle Bob, because the struggle is real. <laughs> But it finally looks like a bob. It's taken ages, ages, but we're finally getting there. Keep going to the hairdresser and she keeps trimming just the back. Just the back for me because I'm just trying to grow this all out to a longer length. Eventually we'll get longer. Um, so let's just jump right into what I want to talk about today, which is covering up a bald spot or thinning hair in the back of your head. Now my hair is looking pretty okay right now in the back. I'm going to turn. I don't know how well you're going to see it. Um, Hopefully, hopefully we caught something there. It's not too bad now, but for a while there, it was thin to the point where you could see through to the scalp and I just was not having that at all. Um, as I've discussed before, I've gone through chemo and my hair came back really kind of fine, much finer and like a different texture than uh, my previous pre-chemo hair um, and thin. I'm on another medication that is thinning my hair as well, so that doesn't help. Um, not everybody experiences that. A lot of women have their hair grow back in like much more thick and beautiful and sometimes all their gray uh, does not come back. I've heard that too. Um, mine didn't though, unfortunately. Uh, okay, so let's get right into applying the product that I think has helped the most, which is Rogaine. Yep, I went there, I looked it up, um, I found out if it was safe, it is safe for me to use. What I've been using is this foam and the way that they tell you to apply it is to put it in a dish and then just use little bits and then apply it to like your, um, wherever it is that you need help, which is usually just the hairline. They tell you to like part your hair and put it in there, part it in a different place and put it in there. And I was doing that for a while, but I found a shortcut that is much faster because I'm not really, like my hair is growing in quite well from the product or just on its own. Um, you can maybe see all the baby hairs. I don't know if you can see them good. It's picking it up. So I have a lot of baby hair, so that's filled in quite nicely, but the area I was concerned about was much more just this, like I had a big bald spot. You can see right through to the scalp. Um, so anyhow, this is my shortcut, and uh, I just washed and dried my hair. There's no product in it right now. Uh, you're supposed to apply it on either a little bit damp or completely dry hair, but not like sopping wet hair for obvious reasons. Um, so I just shake it a bit, and this is what I do. I just go straight back into the area and I just use my thumb and I just, you're not supposed to apply a lot, right? They tell you the guideline is one third of this cap full. So this is the cap. So you don't put it in the cap, they're just saying like to eyeball it. I think it was one third. I don't even go by that anymore, honestly. You know how it is, right? You just get into a routine and you just wanna get it in there really quick. Um, I don't think I put enough in, so I'm just gonna put a little bit more. Yeah, I just go directly I just hit it right where I I have the hair thinning and the hair loss because I'm not too, like I said, I'm not too, too concerned about this part, this front part um, of my hair. I think that actually looks okay right now, but I did use it for the first couple months and I think it helped. I don't know, this product, I was really skeptical. I kind of didn't really want to put it in my hair, you know, it's not natural which is fine, I don't have a problem. It's just like, it's not familiar to me uh, at all. Um, but I've been using it and it works great. And I've been really, really happy. This is not a commercial for Rogaine. <laughs> I'm just saying it's worked well. Okay, so once I do that, oh my gosh. You can actually add other products. So if you wanna add mousse on top of it or hairspray or anything like that, you certainly can. Like I said, my hair's growing pretty good right now, but before when it was still quite bald, I also had this other product that I bought called Topic, and you may, you know, I'm sure if you had thinning hair, or like patches that you don't want people to see of your scalp, I'm sure you've looked this up. Does this product work? Um, yeah, it does. It does. It's pretty easy to use. Um, I think that's fairly dry right now. It feels quite dry to the touch. Oh, what does this feel like? It's a tiny bit tacky, but it doesn't feel that much different from mousse. It's nothing crazy. And as you can see, the texture, texturally, it doesn't change your hair too much, right? Okay, so how does Topic work? It's super simple. You just open it and you just pat it on your bald spot. So in my case, I would just go back here. This is all backwards because I would normally be like looking in a mirror or like holding up a mirror. 
seems the back of my head in a mirror. You know how that goes, right? So you just tap a bit in. I'm not going to use too much because I actually don't need it, but you just tap in as much as you want and it's buildable. So you just put it on your hair and you just like tap it in. It is called hair building fibers. So if you do look at it, I put some on my hand. It is just almost looks like, um, I don't know. I would say it kind of almost looks like eyeshadow. It's just it's like little bits of hair and it clings. It clings to your hair, whatever hair is there and it becomes quite dark. So you can cover up your bald spot pretty well doing that. Um, and I've done that with pretty good results. Does it come off at night a little bit? They say it doesn't, some people, for some people it doesn't. I find a little bit on my pillowcase, a tiny bit. Nothing crazy. Uh, but luckily I didn't have to use that too long because like I said, the rogaine was pretty effective. Um, the other thing you could use if you want that isn't fibers, um, is this root cover up which is really for white hair. Um, but if you have just a small area of balding um, or see-through like to the scalp, you can just use a touch of this too. And yeah, it works pretty good. I'll show you. I mean, like I said, you'll get a better effect when you have less, you know, like I said, this is really grown in. It's looking pretty good, but let's have a look. So I don't know if you can see, but it just, it just darkens. Yeah, you can see where I've done it compared to where I haven't. Which is not really the look I'm going for right now because, um, you know, it's okay to have a part line, obviously. Um, so what am I doing about these baby hairs? Okay, quick tip and then I'm going to end this quick video. Um, I just use this toothbrush, you know, and you just got to lay down those baby hairs and they can look quite cute. So I just lay them down. They will not stay though, so I use some pomade, right? This is the Kristen S. Shine pomade and edge control. So you just use a little bit. Sometimes I'll just put it straight, I'll just put it straight into the toothbrush and I'll just comb those baby hairs down. And uh, yeah, that's how we do, that's how we do. Right, I'll just go through my hairline a bit and just pat them down because otherwise sometimes they stick straight into the air and that's not the best look. Um, and then I would just finish this off, you know, with some hairspray and you're good to go. You have to wear this Rogaine stuff for four hours. So if you're going to the gym, you're going to be sweating it out or you're going to a hot yoga class or you're going swimming, uh, wait till later in the day to apply it. They say you can apply it two times a day. I've been applying it once in the morning with really good results. Uh, so yeah, I'm really happy with it and I hope that helps you guys. So um, thanks so much for listening in. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.